guy is deluded, Guna, man. It's 2018. I'm very... Like, it's upsetting me, people, to keep talking about this racism thing now. Like, at a point, I'm over it now. Thank you for everyone that alerted me to the article. I no doubt you've seen it. Um, West Ham Donny, um, director of football, director of recruitment or some type. Forget his job title for a second. Forgive me, West Ham fans. Someone comment and pattern that has sent out emails discriminating against African players or players of African heritage or background saying a lot of things among them which stuck out for me. They cause mayhem. What does that say? That they're bad to coach. They're bad people. You can't work with them. They can't progress. They're basically mercenaries. And it's the same nonsense we're seeing. We're seeing social media accounts of certain clubs in other countries do nonsense. We're seeing racial in incidences in the Premier League. We're seeing, I mean, we, we, we heard last year that black, black specifically African players, because not all African players are black. We need to um, highlight that. We heard that African players can't concentrate for long periods of time. And we heard a lot of yada, yada, yada last year. And we've now heard that we cause mayhem. And I mean, West Ham have six at the, I, I know I know Osako and, and IU left, but they have like six, seven African players. Musuaku, um, or, um, they, they got, what's his name as well? Koyate in the midfield. There's bare African man there. So, like, it makes no sense. If uh, Obon, Obon has played for Italy, but he's clearly of African heritage, so he's going to feel some sort of way. Shout for all of them that got active on social media, poking fun at this clown as well. Well, not directly, but trying to make light of the situation. It would be nice if similar to NFL, not exactly like for like, but if similar to NFL players finally just spoke out properly now beyond the, the conventional stuff. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, African players cause mayhem. So are you telling me you wouldn't... West Ham, even though they could never sign him, no disrespect to West Ham fans because they're not like this clown on the majority of them. Um, you're telling me you wouldn't take the likes of Seri, Obami and, and all these other... Mares if you could, Salah if you could, Mane if you could, and all these African players, um, you wouldn't take none of them because they, they might cause mayhem. <coughs> it's nonsense, isn't it, people? Whoa, whoa. I've got no time for this clown. There's really not much more to be said, man. The guy's a clown. Like, clowns like this in 2018 is... <coughs> Pardon me, guys, man. I've got no time to try and educate them or, or make them better because reality is there's so much information and means to obtain information in 2018 to educate yourself. It's not back in the day. Shout out to my older heads that are with the stuff. But you get what I mean. It's toxic. Nobody, you have to be mentally ill to have a thought process or thinking logic like this. That someone for more or less pigment. Obviously, if you um if you're white, you've got less pigment. I think that's how it works. And if you're black, there's more pigment in your skin. Or melanin, that's it. But yeah, I'm not with that science thing. But you guys know what I mean in it. But back to the main point, you've got to be mentally ill if for more or less or whatever. If you think someone's a better human or a lesser human, or you're going to discriminate against them, it's no, it's, it makes no sense. If you think like that in 2018. It's, it's backwards, like, you've got no, you're showing no effort to improve your mind, you don't want to improve yourself, you, nobody is that stupid, I refuse to believe nobody is that stupid, you, you're choosing to be that stupid, like, you're choosing to say dumb stuff like this, like me, of course it's racist as hell, it's a stupid and idiotic comment, but it's, it's borderline on funny now, like, how, you surely can't have a thought process like this, because surely if players do cause mayhem, we've seen Dutch players cause mayhem in the Premier League in return to leaving clubs or whatever, Spanish players, African players as well, English players, black, white, whatever players, we've seen a whole bunch of colourful and different characters be mercenaries or cause mayhem and these things in the Premier League, equally we've seen all of them behave themselves, why don't you judge people on their actual principles before you start making blanket comments about a continent of people, whether they're Africa, South America, Europe or whatever, Scandinavia or whatever, just nonsense really man, they even signed an African, well obviously he's in, he probably, probably plays for English youth side, but a player that has an African sounding last name um, for their youth rank, so... What's going on here? You clearly found um, found him good enough. What kind of nonsense? And there's clearly African players in the youth side. And as a whole, what must these players in general, whether they're black or white or whatever at West Ham, think of this? There's not much more to be said, man. It's just idiotic, man. It's borderline on funny. Now, we we just keep seeing stupidness, really. Guys, deluded, you know, YouTube's and go low. Can't take get in the comments. Subscribe. I'm out of here, man.